Danny, welcome back to Twerton Park. Must be looking forward to your return here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think obviously got a few less hair strands now than when I was here previously, but um, I can see there's definitely been a lot of change on and off the pitch since I was here last. So um, yeah, I can't wait to get going. Yeah, a lot of change, isn't it? Six years ago, I think, about 15 games on loan from Bristol Rovers. A lot of change since then, I presume. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think my biggest memory was obviously the Tyler Harvey halfway line strike to kind of save us on the against Western. But I'm not like I said, a lot has changed. Um, I think people are also heading in the right direction. So hopefully we can have a good go at it this season. I presume uh, you say a lot's changed. A lot's changed you in a player as well. You gain the experience in the clubs. You've been playing a lot around this level. That's going to help you, presumably. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I've had spells at Western, Heffern, also the lastly at Chippenham, where I played next to Aussie Pars. So we got a good relationship there. And like I said, I've probably played the last probably seven or eight seasons of this level. So I know exactly what it takes. And hopefully I have to win some games and hopefully help out the team. Must be frustrated that you missed the A4 derbies last year and you picked up an injury just before, didn't you? Yeah, so it's just a bit of a freak accident in training. Just we were actually doing some shooting, though, which probably isn't my cup of tea, really. So it's a lesson for me not to do shooting. I just fell over, landed on my shoulder, and unfortunately, out for a few weeks, I missed the two games. But um, you guys obviously done the job on Chittenham last year. So, yeah. You came back there, you had an extended season in the playoffs. Great experience, I guess. Yeah, it definitely was. And I think for Chittenham, it was obviously the highest they've been at the club. And I think we, we played really well as a team. And it's obviously a shame that that team obviously disbanded a little bit for them guys. But um, no, we had a really good go here, played some good football. And like I said, you want to taste of that again now, really. So that's obviously come here to hopefully get towards those playoffs and hopefully we can achieve something good here. Yeah, is that the fact that the players we brought in as well for this pre-season that encourage you to join? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I guess I spoke to, it all happened really quickly. I think I only spoke to Jerry probably, probably this week, really, if I'm honest. And then he sort of said, like, outlined his vision for the season, outlined the players who's coming here. And I know there's obviously been one announced today which would be a big one and uh, yeah no it looks like I said be really exciting and hopefully we can push up the right side of the table you know left back played there all your career uh well actually when I was younger I probably started as a bit of a striker and then the <laughs> old no one wants to be a fullback I think <laughs> but um yeah no so I started off probably more attacking positions and then obviously gradually made my way back but then for the last you know, maybe 10 12 years I've been as a fullback now so hopefully I'd like to see myself being able to get up and down and um, yeah, got a good left foot and hopefully can chip in with a few assists and maybe one or two goals as well. One of the first things you said uh, last time you were here was the Tyler Harvey game. That was actually your last home game. Yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be difficult to top that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it will be. But hopefully we can have some moments like that, but pushing the right side of the table and not starving off relegation this time. So hopefully, like I said, we can have a few more special moments. Yeah, when you next play for us, it'll be your 16th appearance under your fourth different manager. It's like, yeah, you I mean, what, what was the upheaval like when you, when you were here? You were... Yeah, well, as a young lad, it was quite interesting because it was probably one of my first experiences at the men's football this level. And like I said, it was probably my first time in like a relegation battle. And like I said, it was different managers and people have different systems coming in and there's different ways of working and stuff. And it was quite a turnaround of players as well, I think, at the time. And it was, it was quite a stressful situation, I've got to be honest. But I think we also managed to get the job done eventually and also turned it. Uh, into obviously a good thing to keep the club in the league. Yeah, because you returned to Bristol Rovers, I think, just before the end of the season when yeah. we did stay up. It must have been great to be on the books of the Football League Club for that long. Yeah, because I think when I went back to Bristol Rovers, I think they then got promoted themselves. So I think it was obviously in a round of squad then. Obviously, didn't necessarily get any minutes, but I was in a round of squad. And then, also, yeah, it ended up being a really good season. Your next gaffer, Jerry Gill, who you knew, obviously signed under him, so you've been meeting him recently, but I assume you've gone well before that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I think there's chats maybe two, three years ago when I was when I was at Hereford. And uh, for every reason, it didn't work out at the time. But yeah, no, I've spoken to him before and he's always obviously sold the Bath City away to me. And I um, can't wait to get going. What are your aims personally and team-wise this season? Um, so I think for me, it's just obviously just to play as much as I possibly can, put in some good performances. And then hopefully I think for him as a team, is just as your cliche about finish size we possibly can. And um, if we can't finish first and finish second, and can't finish second, finish third. But I think it's literally got to be that mindset we're going to win every game. And I think that's why I've come here to hopefully do well this season. Like I said, I got a taste of it last year in around the playoffs and I won experience that again. Looking forward to pre-season, being fit and raring to go? Yeah, well, I don't think anyone's looking forward to pre-season, <laughs> really. I mean, it's nice when it gets going, but I don't think anyone really looks forward to the run inside of it and the boiling hot weather. But um, yeah, I know it'd be good. We've got a few good games in there. I know obviously Bristol Rovers and Cheltenham and stuff. So hopefully, yeah, we can put in some few good performances and take it into the season. All right, great to have you back, Danny. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, guys.